Um, welcome, everybody. Bryce, you've done, I see, like 30 examples. I touched on the, the, the four subjunctives as far as the present subjunctive, the present perfect subjunctive, uh, the past subjunctive or imperfect subjunctive, uh, and the uh, past perfect subjunctive. But that's not all of it. I basically did five examples. I followed the weirdo. I have five examples of the W, like the wants, five examples of the emotions, five examples of the impersonal expressions, five examples of recommendations, advice, yes, deny or doubt. Um, and then the last one is O for Ohala. So we'll have, we have examples, five examples for each of those. But within those examples, there are the different subjunctives, as I was explaining earlier about the mm -hmm. present subjunctive, the present perfect subjunctive, the imperfect subjunctive, and the past perfect subjunctive. Excellent. Okay. It is going to be a, a good night, a marathon. good evening for everybody. It's going to be a marathon. Yes. Yes. Now, I do, now, I do want to say there are other, there are other examples. I mean, I did 30. I mean, I can only get so many. But there are other examples which which don't exactly follow the same category as far as whether, hey, I want to put them into this category, this category, this category. But those are ones that, you know, we can, you know, we can do it in a future class because, sure. you know, we can't cover everything in, you know, in one class. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are here with number one. Who would like to translate that to English? Go ahead, Gladys. We want everyone to work together on this project. Great. I don't know that I would change that in any way. We want everyone. So where is the subjunctive? In trabajen. Mm -hmm. Right? Because queremos is a want, and they don't know if they're going to work together or not, but it's what their wish is. Exactly. Okay. Bryce, anything you want to add to this? No, she she summed it up pretty good. Just keep in mind, just for people uh, that are learning this, um, that this example can also be for if you're if you're talking about a group they want or we want all of you, for example, if we want okay. you as in plural. But that's that's it. Other than that, Gladys summed it up very good. Number two, somebody. I could try it. Um, what do they want them to do? Que quisieron los hagan. Que quieran. Quisieron o quieran. Querían. Se querían. Querían. Muy bien. And hicieran. Okay. Does this make sense to everybody? Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, when you use it, <clears throat> when you use the past, you need to use these. But wasn't it, what is the past? I can't, I don't remember the designation of it. Past subjunctive or imperfect subjunctive. Okay. Number three. Uh, try, I, I need, I need you to come with me. Okay. Great. Okay. And so um, I need you to come with me. And do you see where Bengas is the subjunctive? Because you oh, might okay. come with me or you might not, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. How do you just say, come with me? Command. Bang. Ven conmigo. Right. Okay. So that's an imperative, right? That's a command. Awesome. Okay. Number four. Uh, so, yo ira esperando que ellos uh, asustaron el reunir. Say it again, please. Esperaba. Uh, espera, okay, it's going to mean that way. Que ellos asustaron, asustaron el reunir. Mm -hmm. Asistieran. Asistieran. 
So I think where you were going was um, estaba es esperando, right? Uh -huh. But we can just say esperaba. So I was hoping that. So everybody write this in your journal, right? I was hoping that. Esperaba que. This is a very common saying that, that I, you can imagine yourself using in conversation over and over and over again. Esperaba que whatever, right? So this is a very good one to really commit to memory, get comfortable using, practice with your practice partner, uh, do 20, 30, 100 of your own examples of I was hoping that, okay? And then practice getting practice getting the um the subjunctive into that cool good job ken thank you all right okay number five prefería que hablaras con el tuyo con el tu mismo i would like them to i would like to speak with him myself or I'd like to speak with him. I'm not sure about this too much. I would prefer to speak with him myself. Now, now Chet, I want you, I want you to think about something. Okay. On the hablarás has uh -huh. the S on the end of it. So think about that. Think about the, the, the present. Think about hablo, habla, hablas. Hablamos, hablan. I would I would speak with him myself. No, no. I, can I can I help you? Like can I try to help you? Can I try? Yes, to... yes. Oh, yes. Favor. <laughs> I would like I would like I would like you to. I would prefer. You, I would prefer. Okay, sorry, yeah. I would prefer you to speak with him yourself. No, yourself. See. Sí. Yeah. There you go. So now it now it should make sense, okay? I would prefer that you Okay, now it's it's all going to make sense here real real quick, okay? Um so Chet, say the first word, preferiría. And maybe you should say that for him instead of me. Preferiría. Pref Ooh, otra vez. Pref yes. Preferiría uh -huh. que Prefer hablaras con Preferir él mismo. Preferiría, preferiría que hablaras Preferiría. que hablaras con él tú mismo. Let me try it again. Preferiría. Prefiera que Hablaras con el tú mismo. Say, okay. preferiría, one more time, please. Preferiría. Preferiría. Excellent. Good job. Good job. You got all those syllables in there. There's a lot of re-re re in there. Okay. But look at the breakdown, okay? <clears throat> so, I would prefer, again... This is a very useful word for the beginning of a sentence for your conversations. I would prefer that. I would prefer that. Preferiría que, right? You can imagine yourself using that in a lot of conversations because it's a very nice way to say no. <laughs> okay. It's like, yeah, do you want to do you want to go to get a pizza? And no, it's like, I would prefer to go get a salad. <laughs> Said no one ever. Okay. Um, I would prefer that. Now you can start seeing how all these words kind of relate to each other. That you speak with him yourself. So hablarás is talking to you that you speak and that s that that bryce was talking about that's what makes it the two form right that you speak with who with him con el I. 
Tumismo, tumismo is yourself. That's always yourself, right? Just one quick <laughs> note on this. Uh, this is you're you're talking in the present. Just don't let this one confuse you. You're talking in the present. So you, you know you're using the past subjunctive. It's just this is just the way like kind of James is talking about it. He kind of touched on it. It's just a it's just kind of a softer way to say, you know, rather than say, I prefer that you talk to him. You know, some people you know, think, oh, that's too hard. If you just say, I prefer that you talk to him. I would prefer that you talk, you know what I mean? So that's just mm -hmm. kind of a way to, to soften it. So but whenever you mm -hmm. use conditional, now I didn't do a bunch of much of conditionals in this one, but I wanted to show that you know, when you use a conditional, you know, it you know, you have to use the, uh, in this particular construction, you have to use the imperfect subjunctive. So. Awesome. Well, that I would like to say something about the pronunciation. Hablaras, hablaras. Yes. I have been hearing hablaras, but see, this hablaras doesn't have an accent. Okay, so it looks the same, but it's not. Hablaras, hablaras. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is this is future and this is present. Okay, hablaras, hablaras. Very different. Okay. Can I ask a quick question? Of course. Would the phrase con ella tu misma be appropriate then? For yes. herself? No, 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 no. Speak with her, yourself. Con ella tu misma. Yeah. Yes, oh, con ella tu mismo, for sure. Okay. So I would prefer that you talk to her yourself. Okay. It's not a male, it female a, it word. It has an A on the end of it. The mis, the mis, misma. Oh, so you're yeah. talking no, to no, a no, female sorry. speaker? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. It depends <laughs> on who's talking to this, this you. It's, it's, it just depends on who... who who that yourself is. <laughs> oh, so then my question is, why is Mismo masculine? Is there? Oh, no, it could be feminine. It, you're, Gladys, I see where you're going now. I, I, I didn't understand the question. I'm sorry. Um, I was slow on the uptick. But yes, I was thinking you're talking to a man about speaking to a woman. Con ella tu mismo. But if you're talking to a woman about speaking to a woman, I would mm -hmm. prefer that you talk to her yourself than to misma is for sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. You got it. I had a question about um, abaras. I mean, mm -hmm. abla, um, abladas. I thought the present of to speak is just a. Ab you know, you speak is hablas. Yes. Hablas. But that hablas, hablas, hablas con. Not, but hablaras is the, um, what form? No, not this one, the first one. I mean, this one is clearly future, but this, I thought hablas, to hablas, I thought that was to speak. Well, so hablaras is. Okay, that so hablas is you present. speak or you are speaking. Isn't that the simple present? Okay, so let me try and say English. So tu hablas is you speak or you are speaking. Hablas, yeah. okay? Yeah. But I would prefer that you speak. We don't know if you're going to speak to this person or not. <clears throat> so we're going into the subjunctive, right? Hold on. Tu hablas inglés, right? So that's for sure. You do. You speak English and Spanish. Hablaras <laughs> is not you do speak. It's that I would like you to speak. I prefer that you speak. It's, am I getting that right, Bryce? Uh, yes. I, I, well, I think what Carol's talking about is kind of what I just touched on earlier. Uh, if I, now, if I say it in the, in the present, let's say, let's turn that into a present subjunctive. I prefer that you speak to, to him or her yourself. Prefiero que hables. Yeah, and that's true. Right. Yes, that, but being that I'm using the, the conditional, which is preferiría 
then I have to use habladas. Yeah, no, I understand. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you.